Hello to my Cancers. Hello to my Cancers. Happy waning gibbous moon. I know we're still in a full moon phase technically, so hopefully you all are still doing your um, full moon rituals. You know, during this time, hopefully you got a chance to see the lunar eclipse. And uh, like I said, you can still do your full moon rituals, but technically it's a waning gibbous Oops waning gibbous moon right and so you already have the questions for the moon in libra we had a full moon in libra um so we're going to get into your reading okay we're going to get into your reading get into your reading getting into your reading the waning gibbous moon phase is really about banishing negative energy you know um cleansing away any negativity repelling anything breaking spells and doing those things right just some some of the things that people do during the waning gibbous moon phase is like do a cleansing ritual bath you know cleansing your home and your space and may possibly making moon water and writing down all the things that you're grateful for and um just kind of reflecting on your goals and you know what you need to do to reach those goals right because technically we're still in a cycle we just had we just celebrated uh, the 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 most celebrated of the lunar phases was a, which is the full moon right and then also you can write down what you want to let go of and you can also burn it so like I said it's part of a ritual that you I see somebody doing it's like I need to make room for so I can get ready to start closing out this cycle finishing strong so let's do it first card out of the deck is the five of pentacles we also have the temperance card we also have the chariot card here we also have the nine of cups here we also have the dame of swords and the temptations card here temptations i feel like somebody has a guardian angel that's watching over them yeah you know, guardian angel that's watching over you really just helping you to, to stay balanced right so when you feel like you're in spaces where people are trying to give you a cold shoulder or anything like that like i said you can always take the high road you feel like people give you the cold shoulder you feel like they're trying to keep you out of some stuff you know in some way shape from a fashion again here we have the five of pentacles you've already worked this hard to get inside your vault door so somebody not giving you access to something that's connected to them Mm, that's between them and whoever you know whoever whoever right but anyway here we have the nine of cups here we also have the um dame of swords here cancers and uh yeah i i feel like um i i feel like um you already know what your demons are right and so You already know what your demons are. Like I said, it feels like when somebody feels like, you know, maybe somebody is judging you in a sense and like kind of keeping you in the, out in the cold when it comes to some stuff. Rejecting you. Remember, rejection is God's protection from something. So, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel like that when you're being rejected. You know, when you feel like, okay, some energies are kind of like, they don't want me to be a part of there or whatever. And I feel like I'm kind of left out in the cold. But you work too hard to... You work too hard to get to right to your vault door. And um you work too hard. Let's see what let's see what your temptation. I think that's what your temptation is, is your wishes are actually being fulfilled. And somebody may feel like, you know, you gotta wait a little bit longer to get to, you know, some kind of partnership in business or partnership in love, or you know, you're again taking the high road when it comes to some things so this is your card by the way the chariot card this is your card so you're actually being rewarded for taking the high road and moving forward here we have the two of um two of wands page of pentacles the star card we have the justice card here we have the two of swords and then also the ace i mean it's seven of pentacles excuse me yeah so you're a star in your own right and so you have a guardian angel that's reminding you that you have your own um, you have your own path here on earth, right? And uh, let me see. We have the two of wands here. <clears throat> we have the two of swords here, right? So sources that take those blindfolds off. We have the seven of pentacles here. So it's definitely time for somebody to plant some seeds, even though you're actually being rewarded, <clears throat> even though you're being rewarded for just like keeping the peace within yourself and balancing out your own internal peace. We have the page of um, pentacles. I see money coming across your path. There's definitely some energies, unfortunately, 
who um, have an issue, you know, some energies that felt like they were keeping you out of the cold and some stuff. It could be family members that were trying to keep you out of something and money is coming across your path. So it's harvest time. So I definitely see you being rewarded, being, being rewarded financially uh, for something. It could be you. It could be if you're married already, it could be your spouse that's being rewarded, you know, for something. But again, bottom line is that you're, you're, you're operating in your light. Um, you are a person who inspires and other in, in, inspires and motivates other people to live in and I, and somebody just wants a balanced out. This is balanced. This is balanced and all this is balanced right here. Right. You only, you just want to live a peaceful, balanced out life. You're not trying to hurt anybody. You no, know, none of that. You just, you know, so yeah. But yeah, somebody, somebody definitely was leaving you out in the cold when it came to something. It's like two types of energies in particular. One seemed like they were innocent and warm, trying to warm up to you. Another one was behind a whole bunch of mess. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, somebody was behind a bunch of mess. But guess what? Your wishes are still being fulfilled. Your wishes are still being fulfilled. All somebody did was, you know, manipulate their way out of, you know, uh, manipulate their way out of some stuff. So here we have the five of swords. Here we also have the two of swords. Here we have the nine of cups again. We have the six of pentacles, the um, three of wands. And then we also have the five of cups. I feel like you and somebody is almost going like through parallel stuff. I feel like you and somebody going through a parallel universe, whether it's somebody that you've, or you've met in the past, going through the same thing that you're going through and you may not know that they're going through the same thing. Um, here we have the nine of cups. <clears throat> Or somebody that you could be aligning yourself with um, moving forward, going through the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Going through the exact same thing. You know how like sometimes when you, you haven't seen somebody in a long time and then you all meet up again, you, you're parted ways under like very amicable ways. Like it's like, you know, um, maybe you had a, maybe you had a business and you had a client and so the services were up and so you moved on, they moved on, nothing shady, nothing messy, no, none of that. Right. And let's say you all link back up or some, some kind of situation, you all come together and you all are talking and it sounds like y'all were literally going through the exact same thing at the same time. That's what I feel like is happening for somebody here. We also have the six of pentacles. Like I said, it's God, you know, God is the one that's approving some money to come across your path. Here we have the five of cups so that you can put the, the uh, put a manhole cover over the past. Here we have the five of swords. Something is over. Something having to do with two energies in particular. Something is over. Hold on. It's like you and somebody. It's like you and somebody had blindfolds on. Like you all just could not see. Sometimes it is you you that hurt from being ostracized and left out of stuff. You don't even realize that um, you inherited inherited it something, right? Here we have the three of wands here. There's some energies that are going to try to warm up to you, but it's a, it's a bait and switch, if that makes any sense. The energy is trying to warm up to you. And in the past, I feel like you may have felt a little indecisive. But where you are right now, I don't feel like you will be indecisive because your peace is paramount, right? Um, let me see what else I'm saying here in your cards. Okay, let me see how I can word this, Cancer. Okay, so it's two situations here, okay? So one is a firm no. One is a firm no. You know that they align with some other people. You don't want to have anything to do with that, period. You already know. Like, Source already downloaded some information into your spirit. But it's another situation where I feel like in a platonic sense, it's the scenario that I gave you. Like somebody is going to reconnect with, you may run back into your accountant or your massage therapist or a client or 
you know, somebody you were going to do business with. And it's just, it was just on friendly terms. You went your way, they went their way. Services was done, blah, blah, blah. But somehow I feel like you all are going to come together and just be kind of like, you know, how you, you haven't seen somebody in a while. You just pick up. It's like those old times. They Y'all are just talking like, you know, you just pick up from the last time. Oh, the last time I talked to you, such and such, what's going on and such and such. You know, like I said, just strictly good, good conversation, right? Y'all don't feel like y'all, y'all were, it, you may stop at the same time and just look at each other and go, okay, this is creepy. <laughs> this is really creepy, right? So not sure who that's for, but I feel like both of you all had on blindfolds and just was both of y'all were just replaying stuff going back over and over and over again. Like it's, it's, it's like, it's like you see in the movies where people just feel like, okay, they they have the camera on one person's life. They have the camera on another person's life. It just in two different locations. Um, it seemed like it was happening at the same time, right? So, yeah, I feel like uh, somebody is, all of this up here is balanced, balanced, balanced out. Light, dark, seen, unseen, your internal scales being balanced out. Yeah, somebody is definitely at peace with moving forward and not going backwards into some things. I feel like some people are just kind of awakening cancer to your light. Like really, some of your family members are just awakening to your light. They're just now starting to see, wow, I had no idea cancer had all that going on with them, you know, and I want to reconnect. But somehow they're going to forget the Ten of Swords here. Yeah, you survived a lot of them talking about you behind your back. You just survived a lot of stuff. And again, you don't need to replay that because they just, they still on a different frequency. They still on a different frequency, right? Two, four, five. Yeah. That when you look back, it was a complete and total nightmare. And so you survived some nightmares from the past. So your peace, like I said, you're you're just at a place of peace. So right now you could be sitting around waiting for your wishes to be fulfilled. And while you're waiting for two wishes in particular to be fulfilled, right? Because you're not carrying other people's burdens or your on your um on your internal scales, you're at peace both in your personal and your professional life. And I feel like um I definitely feel like some energies want to reconnect with you because they feel like, okay, I didn't realize, you know, cancer was just so hard working and I didn't realize they, they, the connections they were making. Like I didn't realize, you know, who came into their shop. I didn't realize, you know, whose hair they did or who nails they did or whose hair they cut in the barber chair. I didn't realize, you know, who they sold the car to, you know, I didn't know who they did was the mechanic to such and such. I didn't know that they mentored this person or whatever, or they read their cars. Like, I don't, I didn't know they did, you know, that kind of thing. So cancer, but again, here we have the Hierophant card. You're definitely feeling free. You know, you, you feel free and you feel a lot more versatile than you did before. You're, like I said, your star is shining bright and, um, you know, some people are just kind of, you'd be surprised at who you talk to, who knows whom cancer, because I feel like somebody is going to kind of be a, 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 um, like a mouthpiece on your behalf. You know, like if you've been feeling like you kind of, so you've been kind of struggling and people have been trying to, you know, get you caught up in some mess or whatever. I feel like somebody's going to be your mouthpiece. They've already, actually, they've already been your mouthpiece. Here we have the Six of Cups. So I see you moving on in childlike faith, right? Moving forward in child. Again, not looking for people's approval. You and somebody, hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, I had to look at something real quick. Let me make some room here. Make room. That's right. Make room. Make room. Make room for the wealth that's trying to come in cancer. Make room. Make room. Make room. Make room. Make room. Make room. If you're trying to live a softer life, source is telling you to learn how to make room and don't go back to anything that was a nightmare for you. If you had nightmares about something, even if you had not experienced, had a bad experience with somebody yet and you had nightmares about them, it may not. It's not because they did something to you. It's because of who they're connected you know, who, who they're connected with, who they're connected to, connected with, whatever. Here we also have this right here. So like I said, your strength is your vulnerability, right? You're focusing on being a better human being, a better humanitarian. And, um, 
Yeah, it's it's who they're connected with. Still trying to reach out to you. Try still trying to find out stuff about you. You know, protect your energy. Right here we have the Empress card. As your creativity is growing, again, you're feeling free. You're feeling balanced out, at peace with yourselves. Your life is a life where you feel like, okay, I feel like I like, I love my life, both in my personal and my professional life, and recognizing that you're good enough, that you're worthy after the dust has settled. There's some energies that are going to try to reach out to you, Cancer, before this cycle closes, just so you know, okay? They may try to reach out to you via telepathy, while you're meditating, while you're in a dream, however they're trying to reach out to you, um, they're trying to reach out to you, right? So... Here we have the Eight of Cups. So go ahead and toss some things into a burning bowl and move on. Like fear, doubt, uncertainty, you know, those kind of things. Let's see. Hmm. There's a lot going on in your reading when I look at your cards here. Like I said, I don't feel like you're outside of your vault door. I feel like people think that you're outside of your vault door. Okay, why did I have this here? Yeah, so I feel like people think that you're outside of your vault door, but I don't think that you're outside of your vault door. I feel like you are in your vault door because source has already approved you, but it gives the impression to other people that you are waiting on something, but you're not. You're already there. You're already in your vault door. Your money is growing. More money is coming across your path. Um, you've already tossed some things into a burning bowl. And I feel like somebody is, one of your wishes is a community of energies that will pour into you. So you had to make room for that community of energies to pour into you. The source is definitely saying, take a leap of faith. You got a lot of opportunities coming your way. A lot of opportunities coming your way, right? So be very conservative when it comes to, like I said, you're already, you're already there. So it's just saying, just be very conservative with, you know, it, there's a lot of people who are starting to kind of awaken like, hmm, cancer's not really money hungry. I don't know who I'm talking to when I say this, but somebody is saying cancer's not really hum money hungry. Um, we've been watching cancer. It's something about their energy that gives off. They're already... They've already manifested something, right? Whatever it is that you prayed for. I feel like somebody feels like, oh, you've already manifested what you prayed for. Hmm. I'm going to get some more information on that in just a second. Mm -hmm. So yeah, your creativity is definitely growing. Because you poured out so much in the past into spaces that you felt like there was just no return on your investment, just just disappointment, just toxicity, you know, people trying to manipulate other people about you. And these are energies that you spend some time with, like family members, like maybe you invested in past love interests or whatever the case may be, cancer. But... A lot of people didn't expect for you to survive some things. That's why you're not going backwards. That would literally be your, you would be a Judas in your own, in your own life. Like that would be like how having an out of body experience, um, of watching yourself be betrayed. If that makes any sense, right? That would be like watching yourself being betrayed. You're not doing that. You are not doing that. Let me see what else we got going on here. Yeah, but I definitely feel like you're going to, um, you're going to reconnect with somebody that, like I said, there, there was just, there, there was, you all parted ways very amicably. Like I said, like maybe there was service or something was, that was up, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe somebody you, you know, you all are reconnecting in some, in some way, shape, form or fashion where it just feel like, it's just like, okay, this is. Wow, I guess I wasn't the only one going through that. <laughs> That's what I feel like you all are going to be saying to each other. I guess I wasn't the only one going through that same thing. All right, so let's go ahead and um, get some more cards, and we're going to go ahead and get ready to close this out. Ooh, let's go ahead and get some cards, and let's go ahead and close this out. Yeah, a lot of balance here. Two... Somebody 
somebody's ex had a sex addiction. I know that sounds so <laughs> I know that sounds so random for somebody. I'm like, but I'm serious. It's coming through really strong because I'm looking at so much water here. Somebody's ex had a somebody had an ex that was an incubus and possibly a succubus energy. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, somebody somebody from the past is really missing you. Somebody somebody from the past is really missing you. Here we have you have the gift of, of clear audience. So you hear things very um very clearly, right? So if you find yourself waking up cancer and you hit something like like you feel like you can hear overhear conversations and they sound like pretty aggressive in a in a sense. You just know that you are protected. You are protected and loved, right? And it's you versus you. But I definitely feel like we have to create the change that you want. Something is not as deep as you think. You have the gift of also deja vu. Somebody could have experienced that much trauma for real. Um, you know, when it comes to just kind of like hearing stuff replayed again ever in your mind. But I, I don't think it's, I, I know I know part of it is because of the tra traumatic experience, but I think a lot of it has to do with you have the gift of clear audience. And when you're first trying to adapt to the gifts that you have, you literally can feel like you're hearing voices, like you can feel like you're hearing other people's conversations. Mm-hmm. And because of the full moon, that adds that level of intensity on top of that you're operating in purpose also adds the intensity so it's like sources saying hey i'm giving you the i'm giving you the answers to the test <laughs> right that's what it feels like so again you are protected and loved you know something is not as deep as you think but i do see some money coming across your path um and i do i do feel like um Let me see. Yeah, I definitely see you already, in your, you know, building your your legacy. Well, you've already spoken some things into existence. So anybody who may have thought one thing about you is going to find out something totally different. And I'm talking about in a very positive way. Like, yeah, they not, they not really stressed over what you thought they were stressed over. You're going to have to come at them a different way. Number eight, I am successful. So your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other cancer. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight, representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. That's right, the infinite loop of creation. Alrighty, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, let's see what else we got going on here with these uh, these oracle cards. But yeah, I definitely feel like there's some people who are hermit mode right now, just kind of sort of kind of meticulously watching every little thing, like going back in their mind. It does has settled. They're getting some information back, trying to figure out, well, we, we can't figure that out. Okay. Cancer is not a gold digging energy. Hmm. <laughs> uh, can't bait cancer with money. Can't bait cancer with being a part of something because cancer is good there check cancer is good at not being money hungry check what can we do to okay let's see we heard all of this stuff about cancer we leave cancer out in the cold cancer will warm up to but cancer is not warming up to that check you see how like you see how like you um like i'm telling you somebody is already in their vault you've already made a decision you're not going back to any any um any nightmare situations, right? You would literally be a sacrifice. Yep, you'd be sacrificing yourself. So sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. See, that's what I'm talking about. There's some people who told people that you had some kind of an addiction, you know, to you just you just had to be a part of some organization or you just wanted to be a part of something or money was your thing. But I feel like somebody is going to be your voice piece because you're already inside your vault door. Somebody of some kind of influence is going to go back and tell people, Cancer, 
Yeah, cancer's not money hungry. Yeah, you can't entice them with sex. Mm, you can't entice them with, you can't bait them with this. You can't bait them with that. So somebody not saying something like, can't we the one that, then they find out, oh, we must be the ones that's left out in the cold, right? We, somebody not telling us, no, oh, cancer is, so source is saying, yeah, you're, um, you've already tossed some things into a burning bowl. And so somebody is definitely moving in silence. You are definitely moving in silence, cancer. You are not just saying everything that's coming. You're not, somebody just can't figure you out. They cannot figure you out. You like a Rubik's cube <laughs> that's never been solved, right? It's never been put together. All the colors are not, you know, the same colors are not on the same side of the, the cube, right? So anyway, keep it that way. Freedom. I am free to be me. I am free to live fully. I am present in this moment. I am not bound by my circumstances. I am stronger than fear or doubt. I have the power to create a new reality. And that is the double truth, Ruth. Yes. So that's where you are. That's where you are definitely on your journey. Like I said, I feel like there's a mouthpiece, somebody who is in a very high level position, right? And y'all know when we're talking about, we're talking about like, uh, like, worldly position right that's kind of like above the energies that we're watching and you know trying to bait you into some stuff they, they're they about to find out that they're the ones that's on the outside not you it's not you on the outside of your vault they actually on the outside of your vault in the cold so yep you are successful you're on the light side of the number eight the light side of the number eight. Hopefully that made sense to somebody channeling. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So that, that channel, it's like you're tuned right into their channel. If you wake up and you start hearing what they're talking about in your meditative state, you tuned into their channel. Somebody is very powerful. Very, very powerful. You've tuned into people's channel. And so they're about to find out. They're going to hear it out of somebody's mouth. They are not what you said they were. Somebody is saying that about you right now, Cancer, in a very kind way. They're like, no, y'all y'all had it wrong. Y'all totally had Cancer wrong. And I'm talking to you wherever Cancer is in your birth chart. Here we have Green Man. All that I desire comes to me easily and effortlessly. I know this to be true, for I am abundant in all that I do. I'm trying to that, I'm trying to tell you something was centered around money. Somebody was telling people before, oh, cancer is a money hungry, this and that. I, I put it in previous videos, so I don't need to repeat that because it was just ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous to believe that people cannot evolve. And, and the lie that they were telling was more of a projection of themselves onto you. Had people all in their feelings about you. I am safe to be my true authentic self. Yeah. Yep. Somebody is if somebody that's in a real high position is um is a high position, high position, earthly position, let me put it that way. Is definitely taking some messages back. Uh uh, hands off of cancer. Leave cancer alone. Mm -mm. Cancer is not the one because there's too many people who are running a risk cancer of losing their earthly positions. If people are saying, nope, cancer's not what you thought they were. So, yep, you can thank God. You can thank God. But there's some people, they'll still try it. They'll still try it. They'll try to reach out to you in other ways. They'll still try it. But somebody let somebody know. Cancer's, uh, hands off cancer. Hands off, hands off, hands off. Leave them alone. And guess what? You didn't have to do anything wicked or strange or dark or none of that for somebody to stand up on your behalf. It don't even matter who they are. You don't need to know who they are. Matter of fact, it's probably a good thing you don't know. <laughs> it's probably a good thing you don't know. So leave it at that. That's what I have for you, Cancers. Thank you for joining me again. Just know that you are successful. And I always tell, tell people, stay in the light. It, it, it actually helps. It may take you longer to get to where you're going. Stay in the light. And so there are some energies that definitely want to reach out to you, but it's not going to work because they've been told to stand down, leave you alone. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. I will give you all the, um, I will give you all the, um, uh, next set of questions in the next reading. Okay. So, but again, you're safe, um, to be your true authentic self. 
that is what I have for you. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.